So, we are now ready to meet the Duchess. We're all kitted out. Okay, let's save. And just out of curiosity, how much inventory? We have some inventory space, not a ton. Hoping that's not going to be an issue. Oh, we did get a sword. I think it was this one that we got from round one of the Gwent tournament. And it has a bunch of sign intensity. And then solid crit chance and crit damage bonus, which I, I do like. So if we were more sign oriented, that might be a, a solid sword. But I think not really on this occasion. Oh, it would be nice if we could sell these two, probably, just to get a little more weight. We also, of course, are currently carrying our usual cat school armor that is not currently equipped, which is probably weighing us down a bit. But anyways, we're probably good here. Hmm. We should. I mean... It's going to be hard to break away, I think, from the quest. Like, once we're actually doing it, I doubt we can actually leave. So we should probably make a point. I mean, it's like on the way, even, of uh, of just selling a few things, because otherwise, I don't know how much stuff we're going to be picking up. But that would be a shame if we couldn't pick up a bunch of stuff just because um, just because we're encumbered. We could sell some junk here if this wasn't locked. Oh, right, that's it's actually for the like fifth time. It's actually down here. Jump on your head. Or jump over it, for that matter. Welcome back, my friend. How can I be of service? Okay, uh, so we're just selling junk to you. Show me what you got. See if something catches my eye. So, you don't have that much monies. We're largely just trying to shed weight here. So that means things like our hides. We have accumulated a fair number of those. Even the books. Yeah, just want to give us a little bit more of a buffer here. In case we do have a bunch of things that we end up picking up for this quest, which, I mean, who knows? Quest items are usually basically weightless. But uh, we could very well have some things we want to loot that are not directly quest-related. And I would like to be able to, you know, take those things. Caskets, I imagine, are fairly heavy. As well as all the, the wood stuff down here. Skulls, ashes, rope ladders. He doesn't have any money remaining, though. Okay. That should be better. Time flies. Gotta go. See ya. Yeah, if it's, I suppose if it's the little casket thing, aren't. Again, we get into our, our never-ending conversation. Our, our recurring talking point of, about caskets. We could nab Reginald. Buy your tickets now. Available for you. But, uh, not sure how relevant that will be here. Okay, that's that's the do not enter place. Yeah, Let's first. Height. Yeah, that was maybe not the best word choice. <laughs> I did realize that as soon as I said it, I was like, hmm, you know, don't love the way I phrased that. Okay, let's just dump Jimmy our other, out. like, swords. I think we sold our armor to the other dude. I'm gonna keep the, the relic rarity ones. Mostly just dump you. And I suppose you as well. And maybe sell, like, you and sell you and sell you and sell you. No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. 
It just, it gives us a tiny bit more weight to work with, just in case. Farewell. No, see you later. Okay, uh, speaking of Reginald. Speaking of Reginald. He's not that far away, is he? He's, uh, he's like, there? But I always miss the point of entry for his little courtyard area. Go up this way? I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not here. Yeah, it's more so in this area. Oh. And then it's... It's not this. It's down this way, right? Is it? Or no, it's even lower? It's here. Wait, there's a... Hold on. What? It's a dead body over there? That might be tied to the quest. Let's not go there. That's kind of close to the quest. But I saw there's loot from a dead body. I was like, what? Okay, it's this. Because there is not usually fighting in the streets of Tucson. But yes, here is Reginald. Can't believe I'm actually doing this. Okay, so now we got that working in our favor. Who knows if it'll be relevant, but in case it is, we now have it. And so I believe that now means we are headed over to the main quest. And let's just read up on it, because it's we've been thinking about it for a while. But only now are we actually doing it. It seemed as if matters had come to a head, and the Witcher would finally face he who had for some time succeeded in slinking from Geralt's grip like a snake. The Centrian was to appear at a soiree hosted by Mandragora, an exclusive club that brought together all manner of artists who thought very highly of themselves. As I see it, they were a host of individuals whom nature had denied any significant talent. I've read, I remember a dandelion saying this before. Thus, they opted not to produce more and better work, but instead to whimper into the ears of wealthy patrons, a practice for which I have always had the utmost contempt. But back to the Centrian. Geralt and Anna Henrietta decided that they would attend the soiree and nab this scoundrel dog. Uh, nab this scoundrel dog? word choice <laughs> okay but here is here is the uh the not so well the, the point of no return it would appear or th for this quest not for the whole game but uh here goes nothing ah oh here he comes a hero Gerard's dream to be honest yeah past their door down this out. I mean, it seems like we could go pretty close without uh, accidentally triggering it. Is how close we're getting here? Late. Now, why does that not surprise me? This music is the music for playing against Skellige in the standalone game, I believe. Why, hello. Well, well. Who is this? I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. <laughs> she likes the mask. My, my, Geralt. Not bad. Who is this well. Geralt of which you speak? And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. <laughs> <laughs> They're Excuse a me. Different the ones Mandragora members wear. No. I brought you one. Put it on. No. How dare they? How dare they? Why do they wear the masks? And why do they not accept large nose bird masks? This is a travesty. Any idea why they wear masks? <laughs> Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Okay. 
Okay, well, uh, I suppose we are ready to go inside now. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. Okay. So you're saying we're gonna do some fist fighting. How do we find the Cintrian? Have you a plan? He is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Okay, Especially that's something. Since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Oh. Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. We did? Right. Right you are. Did we? We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. That's encounter we missed. Okay, gotcha. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Uh, what are these performances? Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? The third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. Okay. Okay. Um, say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a, a Cecilia, have you? We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Hmm, okay. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia <laughs> Tell us the answer. Cecilia one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. What color are orchids? Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. I feel like Could the same goes for it. us. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Okay. Take part in the entertainments. And search for the woman with the Kaviri orchid in her hair. So I assume we'd like to partake of the festivities first. Let's see, do we have them showing up on our map? We, whoa, we absolutely do. There are a bunch here. Oh, uh, there's, there's a lot of men from Sintra. Oh, hold on. So these are the ones that are soiree entertainments, whereas the ones with the circles around them are the alcoves where we might find the woman with the orchid in her hair. So yeah, I assume we want to just, uh, Take in the entertainment first. Yeah, just don't walk into the alcoves yet. Okay, so what if we, what if we get rid of this, and we instead do that, and do that? Don't go there, lids. Okay. So, got some sculptors. Please do not disturb. One false move will ruin us the entire Oh. Oh, yes, you are sculpting. It is uh, one of the panther like statues that we've seen several of. Oh. Paints. Where? Here? Hold on. 
Got some, what is this, blue, green, and red. Okay, admittedly, I'm seeing throw paintballs to express our inner artist. Okay, um, gotcha. So, what are we looking to paint? Um, what do we want to paint? Oh man, what a question. What a question. How about we do... What would be fitting in this situation? Maybe the mask that you wouldn't let us wear? How about that? Also, how do we actually throw them? Like this? Oh, yep. Like it's a bomb. Of course. Um, okay, so we're going to try to make the bird mask. I think it's going to be primarily blue. <laughs> it's not a landscape, you pleb. Okay, so this is... I'm trying to make the... Um, the sort of face of it here. The actual, like, face component. Oh, that was purple, actually. I mean, that's fine. So what? This is, uh, it's hard to see in this lighting. This one orange, this one's green, that one's red. Also, can we actually take more? Uh, how do I get, how do I get more? Ah, okay. Purple paint. Blue paint. It's the one that I, I really want. And we can do purple to, to liven it up a little bit. Gives it a little more flavor. But then, uh, I really need to... Oh, no. Now I don't have any blue remaining. Okay. So it must be purple now. So now we're going for the actual, like, beak slash nose part. But, uh, it's gonna be hard to get as thin, uh, uh, area as the actual nose part is. Go with that. Okay. I swear it's a mask, okay? I swear it's a mask. Um, it's blue and purple, okay? It's totally innocent. Then we put like the eye there. And then, uh, second eye there. I, mean, I definitely would like to have more blue, but I don't think we can get more blue. And so now with just uh, orange or red a little bit and uh, an orange and green remaining, which are not really colors that are on the mask, we're just going to basically like, maybe we'll put this at the top. That, that kind of messed with the shape, though. I don't love that. Um, this is going to contrast a lot with the red, but we're going to throw it up here just to try to fix the shape a bit. And now, for the remaining colors, we're just throwing them, like, wherever. Because we don't actually want them to mess with our mask. So just put, put like, put this stuff in the corners there. Or yes, throw it at the Duchess. To be a <laughs> can we throw it at the Duchess? We can. Uh, it went through her. But we can, in fact, throw it at the Duchess. Take this, Anna. This is what I think of your rule. Acha. Yes, it's sure to be a masterpiece. It is. Uh, we need one more color. What other color? We have one green remaining. Acha. I don't know about that. Defiance, yes, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh yes, that's him, all right. Good versus evil, the dualistic nature of man. And defiance. And defiance. Okay, cool. Let's see, then we got this one here. Is it talking to the wealthy townsman? No. Oh, we can drink what? Just wine. Absinthe. The preferred hooch of artists. Careful. Pretty powerful punch. Yeah, I feel like we probably want to do that later on. Because uh, now we're going to have blurry vision for the foreseeable future. Oh no, okay. Wears off pretty quickly. Would have been pretty hard to paint with that. Uh, let's see. Is this, can we interact with the mines? 
It's a metaphor of the constant struggle for power and influence. How do we how do we do this? What else would they think of? How do we interact with them? Because the, the Marco's here. But we can't talk to the mime. I suppose that is understandable. Do we just watch them? They're they're in a tug of war. Ah, oh, we can pull with them. Oh! Touches is just there in the middle. Okay, so they're the mimes. What else do we have? Let's see, I want to make sure we don't accidentally go over to the alcoves. Which are on the side. How do we avoid the alcoves while still getting through here? Do we Can we walk through the, the water here? We can. We'll see about that. Can we help this? Apparently we can. Oh. Ooh. Nifty. Very nifty. What is it? An axie? A urine? Nah. The dolphins. That is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Where is Duchess? Impressive. Oh, they're even over there? Where did the Duchess go? <laughs> did we abandon her down there? She didn't climb up with us, maybe? They're going up all over the place. Wow. Impressive stuff. Okay, so that's this dude. Then we've got a few more things by the end there. We just like casually walk through this area where he's making all the, the dolphin stuff happening. Can we walk into the dolphins? We can. We can walk into them. We can swim with dolphins! We can high five the dolphins! Hold on. We're gonna high five them. Where are they? High five them! Huzzah. Mission accomplished. Okay, so what's going on over here? They say releasing them brings good luck. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, is she just listed as noble woman now? That's her. Oh, no. There she is. There she is. Okay. She does still say Anna Henry. So we can release the lanterns? Somehow. There we go. Fine. Let's give it a try. Never suspected you believed in such things. Well, way it goes. On and on. Where it stops, nobody knows. It really just keeps on going, doesn't it? To the moon. Okay. So like, you know, it's still up there. Yeah. Does it actually disappear at any point? It's getting pretty small at this point, so like, there it goes. Now it's gone. Okay, so I think we are now done with everything that is optional. Yeah. So now we are ready to try to find this woman with the orchid in her hair. I mean, one of these alcoves. It's on the right for the point of entrance, so over here. And then finish with that one back there. Okay. What were you saying? Curious what their dialogue is. Uh, does it matter if we approach from this angle? This is probably not the, the angle they're expecting you to approach from, so I feel like we might want to go with the uh, the most straightforward of approaches. Let's do it the way they're probably expecting us to approach from. Just so that we avoid breaking anything. Oh. It's like some Pork, I suppose. And some fruits. And some apples. What do we have here? Oh, we have this, don't we? Isn't that one of our paintings we have at home? I don't think we hung it up. Don't know if we have that one. Not sure if we have this either. It is a reference to the work's ultimate meaning. 
Oh yes, of course. Of course it is. Okay, now let's, well, take the mushrooms. Then edit. And they got a lot of, a lot of food and a lot of wine. I suppose that's uh, not to be terribly surprising, given how this is a party. I swear we just looted that. Okay, so now we check this place out. This alcove. How fair is your head, sis? Have I not heard? It's on everyone's lips. Mm -hmm. Falling to this in one night. The theft of the century. Oh. And here you are. Offering one to me. What? If you are not interested, sir, I'm sure someone else. Right, fine. You can't think I'd let such an opportunity pass. How much? Slow down. You have declared your intent. Now I will convey this to my client. We shall get back to you. Please await word. Okay. Making art deals. Is there anything in here? Can we go through there? We cannot. What about this one? She never should have performed tonight. You should have. It seems someone decided otherwise. That someone knows nothing of true art. It shall be you next time. Trust me, I shall have a word with Oriana personally. We, are, we wish to be alone. Please leave. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. There are a few on this side, it looks like. This person almost looked like the Duchess. I believe that's everything on this side now, though. Although, the side is not, uh, it's still lit up. As if it's saying there's still something to search for here. So I, we are busy. I do. I mean, do we actually like need to speak to the women to we confirm to that we are checking if they have something in their hair? Do not touch. But do not touch. There isn't even anyone, or there's just like Please this dude. Here. This oh, there is this is sort of back alleyway that I don't think we can get into yet, because that's behind this locked door. So I think we just head on over to the other side, and it's just going to continue to be lit up here. And now that we've checked it. Yeah. Okay, so we've done we've done everything on that side. We're good to go to the other side now. Take another look at the dolphins. Now, let's see what we have on this side. There's seemingly two. There's that one there, and there's something on the ground in there. Piece of paper, and then there's this one over here as well, which looks like there is either a sleeping person or a dead person in there. Start with the one on the right, start with this one. Okay. Um, hello? Hello, drunk dude. Um, wasn't me, I swear. Let's look in the alcoves. This is an alcove. Uh, I don't believe there's anything in there. Not by the looks of things. But now we go to the one on the left, and this is where it, it seems like we're gonna have something happen. That, uh... That piece of paper is awfully suspicious. Maybe we save as well. It's only these two, right? I think it's only these two. Is that so? Fragment of the script of a stage play. What do we have here? The besotted witcher, Francois de Valor. Night thick as mud envelops a dense wood. A full moon hangs in the sky above the trees. Note, scenography must include a representation of the full moon. Okay, I mean, I'm immediately suspicious of whether this person knows that we are coming, 
Like, there was talk of, or Geralt mentioned how the Sintrian may know that we are coming, given how we theoretically were supposed to run into some of the Sintrian's people earlier, uh, even if that didn't actually end up happening. Uh, and so maybe has created this script to sort of mock us. And so the Witcher is already potentially referenced to us, and then I immediately see Wolves Howl. Obviously, we're a wolf school witcher, and we are known as the White Wolf. Plaintively, in the distance, a witcher walks through the woods in careful, measured strides, and wields a silver blade in his hands. Witcher. God damn it all. Moons at its fullest. Long have I waited this night. Three weeks have I spent in that foul pit, all to catch a lone werewolf. At least the miller's daughter helped me while away at the time. In fact, in fact, I leave only with a certain sense of regret. A chance I should take her with me. We hear the snap of breaking behind... Oh, this is not the Witcher speaking. We hear the snap of breaking behind the Witcher. He turns around swiftly, his guard raised. He spies the werewolf. I've got you. I've got you no, beast. Pretty sure that's supposed to be I've got you now. Ah! Werewolf removes its mask. The Witcher can see it is the Miller's daughter. He's astonished, does not know what to do. Miller's daughter. Well, what now? Will you kill me? Or perhaps, perhaps you'll take me with you. Okay. Got so that. Much time I spent polishing that one man play. And Countess de Safel was there. That's the worst. Now Absolutely. She'll never look me in the eye. She'll never forgive you. Play was terrible, man. I'm sorry. Okay, but we're looking for the woman with that uh, orchid in her hair, I suppose, ultimately. Have we... Have not admittedly been actually looking at the, the woman, so that's probably more of an important thing. There's the Duchess. I mean, she's not in the actual alcove. Oh, this is her, though, right? Is it? Oh, no. I thought, I thought that was a flower for a second. That's just her headpiece. Um, hello? Hello. There is one more? Okay, hold on. Down here? Can we go through this? No? Hmm. Oh! We have not seen this one. There is a person over there. He may not be wearing a shirt. NSFW moment incoming, perhaps. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Mm. Lovely portrait you got there. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me. I, I've heard Anna Henrietta Maybe. herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Really? Ah, uh, at one point, really now. the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but alas, ultimately refused my terms. What a shame. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. Shame indeed. I think you may still get your chance. Oh, Duchess. All right, but 
that's that's an aside. Anna, come 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 on, come on, settle down now, settle down now. We are here for Cecilia. We came here to meet you specifically. To meet me? But why? Sintry and Noble, you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Sintry and Noble. Ah, you must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move. As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it, but I did see the nobleman. Really okay. like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here, tall, dark, masked. That doesn't really help. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift, a heart-shaped box. Then oh. they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I mean, like Pisces in here. Like this. You must leave now. Okay. Yeah, that one, for some reason, the other two alcoves show up on the mini map, but that one did not. So that's why I walked past a bazillion times. But, uh, use your pressure senses to search the refreshment tables. Oh, well, step ahead of you. Yeah, I've already done some of that. But that we can continue to do. Uh, is there a specific refreshment table? Over here. Okay. Don't mind us. Oh. Yeah, so what is the... Hold on. So you said... There's no real meaningful updates here, but you said... The person we were looking for, who was actually the singer... We were basing our... We were looking for her based on the flower she had in her hair, then she threw the flower into the crowd... That person picked it up and wore it, and so that's why we got confused. Thought that was actually the person we were looking for, but it wasn't. Then she said she saw the person, the man, the sentry that we were looking for, gave us a really generic description that doesn't really help us. But then now we're just gonna poke around here. Oh, we're looking for the harp-shaped box. Of course. Uh, we'll just, uh, has anyone seen Kurt? What? Is it actually dandelions and did someone actually beat him with it once? Also, um, is it Lead Belly's guitar? He is David Geffen trying to sell for five hundred thousand dollars. Empty heart shaped box. There we go. It looks like it held a flask of perfume. Gift from the Sintry, I imagine. Scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. Oh, could do. Come, come, come on, noble people. <laughs> we got places to go. There, can we still examine the stuff? Yeah, I did. I did kind of wonder when it appeared as though that was going to be the hard shaped box that that was worth going straight to it. Oh, no, we can still look at this, it seems. Are there going to be other <laughs> Nirvana references? I mean, sadly, potentially. Uh, is that it? Are there any more? We looked at the paintings previously. Oh, here. Love letter. Oh. Love letter pinned on a napkin. Look. Oh, my amour, my sunbeam flickering across the firmament of my life. <laughs> Laura. Oh, my dearest love. Oh, lone ray of sunshine on my heart-shaped box. On my firmament of my life. I shall speak from my heart. For weeks, I have been shooting stolen glances in your direction, hiding the hope I dare nurture deep within my bosom, that perhaps you feel for me even one iota of affection I feel for you. It's okay, don't expect me to cry. I've waited long, gathering the courage to confess my feelings for you. I would certainly be waiting still, had not you appeared at tonight's soiree in the company of that womanizing, carousing, 
rival scribbling pretentious pig named Alphonse de Rosai. I wonder if that's a person. When I saw the emaciated turd fawning over you, I immediately knew I had to act. I turned to the best weapon in my arsenal, the quill and the well-turned phrase, and began writing you this letter. Forgive me, it is written on a napkin, for I had nothing more appropriate at hand at the time. Oh, most marvelous of all women, I do not believe a word he whispers in your ear. He is as slippery as a viper. We need to hear that the guy we're looking for is as slippery as a snake. And twice as venomous. Reject his advances and let me walk hand in hand with you. Feed you grapes with you, uh, uh, with you radiate happiness to the heavens themselves. Yours forever, Fabian. Okay. Ah, uh, that may be everything now. 